Hi guys. So sometimes when you get into work, you're just not feeling very motivated or productive and it's hard to get your head in the game. Today was very much one of those days for me. I got into work, I started uploading some files that I had to get sent over to a client. And whilst I was doing that, I started thinking about some of the odd jobs, uh, little improvements that I'd like to make in the studio that I haven't had time to do uh, whilst I've been, been busy with client work or live sound work. I haven't had very much time to look at anything like that lately. And at the moment, this week and this month in general, this month of April that we're in, uh, I've got a bit more downtime. I don't have much work booked in, uh, which I think has been something that's been at the back of my mind a little bit and, and maybe why today I've not been feeling that great mentally. Of course, we're in the middle of the cost of living crisis most places at the moment. So money is, is a big concern right now. So whenever there's less money coming in, it can be a bit of a stress. But I started thinking about some of the stuff I'd like to do around the studio improvements I'd like to make. And one of those was the studio desk that I have. I built that a long time ago, many years ago now. And I built that really for a larger space than the control room that I'm in now, which is quite small. It's fine really when I'm working there on my own, but when I do have say a band in for tracking and they're all in the control room, it can feel a little cramped, a little claustrophobic. So I think making the desk a bit smaller would help with that. Maybe the touchscreens that I've, I've got, I condense the desk down to just housing those and have that centered more. And then maybe two outboard racks kind of angled inwards either side. And I feel like this as well would allow for uh, more room for better positioning of, of my speaker stands. It will allow me to tweak my monitoring setup a bit more. It's fine at the moment as it is, but I do feel like there are improvements that could be made. So I started thinking about that and actually started taking my desk apart, seeing if maybe I could modify what I already have or if I'd need to build something entirely new from scratch. But I very quickly started feeling overwhelmed by it all. I realized that actually maybe I shouldn't be doing this today. Maybe I need to give myself a little bit of a break. Um, I'm really guilty of whenever I do have downtime to feel like I should be making the absolute most of that, doing the stuff that I haven't had time to do whilst I've had work on. So whether that might be, you know, just the back end stuff like accounting, doing a bit of learning, you know, trying out new mic techniques, new mixing techniques, or making improvements to the space that I'm in. I always feel like I should be doing something. Sometimes the most productive thing you can do is just to give yourself a little bit of a break. I think for creatives, like ourselves, uh, whether you are a studio engineer or a musician or whatever you, it might be that you're doing, it's very different to those who maybe are working a, I don't know, a nine to five in an office where for them really their job is just work. Uh, they're not overly passionate about it. It's just a means of earning money. Whereas for us, we are passionate about what we do. For a lot of us, this started out as a hobby and then became a job. And that can be a hard thing to reconcile with sometimes. And it can be hard to not end up feeling jaded. It's really difficult sometimes to do what you love doing for a job. It can be easy to lose sight of why we started doing what we first started doing in the, in the first place. And it can be easy to be very consumed by what we do and not allow enough time for the pursuit of other things, you know, whether it's other hobbies, spending time with family and friends or just taking time out for ourselves. Those things are just as, as, as important as the work that we do. So I figured, you know, this week, any of the improvements I'd like to make in the studio, things are fine as they are right now. When I have work in, I can work, I can do what I need to do. And sure, things could be better, but they could always be better. It's very easy to get caught up in the endless pursuit of improvement all the time. Uh, and forget that actually things can wait sometimes. So there'll be other times of the year uh, in the future that I'll have time, I'll have downtime to look at these things. And if I don't feel like doing those things this week, who knows, I might come in tomorrow and I might feel really productive and I might feel like I want to tackle some of these things like looking at my studio desk properly. Uh, but if I don't feel like doing that, that's also fine. I might go home early a few days this week. Who knows? 
uh, and take a bit of time for myself. So I'd be interested to hear what you guys think on this subject. And that's why I made this video today. I also took a little bit of time to look at this general podcasting setup. Uh, that's the idea for this whole uh, shot that you see. It's my little podcasting setup that I haven't really had time to look at. So I figured that was something I felt like doing today. And I wanted to make a video talking about this, this subject of you know, looking after your mental health and not getting burnt out. So I took a bit of time to set up the lighting in here and set up the shot. There's still stuff I'd like to do with this backdrop. I'd like to get maybe some fake plants in or something, something to just dress uh, this shot up a little bit more. But again, that can come in time. I, I got a few things done, like I put in some smart plugs for the soft boxes that I have overhead uh, just out of shot which makes it really easy I can turn them on and off by my phone by the app for the smart plugs uh, which is way easier than what what I was doing before which was getting up on a step ladder to turn the lights on and off so you know that was a little improvement that I got done today um, but let me know what you think of this this whole look that we've got going on here let me know what you think about this uh, this topic um, how do you deal with burnout if you've ever experienced it what do you do when you're not having a good day you don't feel very good mentally how do you make allowances for that of course sometimes when we need to work we've got deadlines to meet we've got jobs to do and they need to get done we have to kind of disregard how we might be feeling and just try and get our head in the zone but I think if we do have the opportunity to cut ourselves a bit of slack, it's important to recognize when you do need to do so. And ultimately, that can actually lead to you getting work done quicker. You know, if you say, actually today, I'm not being productive, it's taking me twice as long. I'm gonna come back tomorrow and attack this with a fresh, you know, clear mindset. So yeah, let me know how you deal with this kind of thing sound out in the comments down below give this video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel if you're new here and i'll see you all again in the next one